Hey YouTubers, Flip Moto here, uh, standing in the middle of what was going to be Meta Facebook offices, but they decided to uh, go downtown Austin, and so now I don't know what's inside these buildings. But uh, yeah, here they are. And so uh, fourth vlog ever, and uh, I'm gonna reveal my new bike that I've had for roughly three weeks, four weeks, no, six weeks. I had this bike for six weeks. If you're on Instagram, you might know what it is. All right, so uh, here it is. A Triumph Street Cup 2000 17. Uh, it's all registered, mostly stock, except for this uh, handlebar setup. I put a uh, custom little bit here with the machined Triumph. And uh, let's start her up. And then we can talk about it a little bit. It's got the dual clocks. It's one of the key things, key features I was looking for. All Triumphs need to be in neutral when you start them. Oh, she sounds good. That is the stock pipes. Look good. Uh, this tail tidy, not stock. I'll talk about that later. License plate holder, not stock. I'll talk about that later. Uh, the prior person who uh, bought this must have been into Britain, because he bought all sorts of Britain flags for it. I don't know what I'll do with that stuff. Uh, aftermarket brackets, aftermarket lights. I put uh, a better master cylinder. No, that was the other bike. I put new brake levers on it, and new mirrors, and a new brake reservoir, that's it. Uh, the master cylinder is a Nissan, a Japanese. Interesting choice by Triumph. It is a Nissan front rotor as well. It's a 900. I believe the horsepower is somewhere between 55 and 60. Torque are right around the same. It's pretty torquey for a uh, little twin. We'll talk about uh, modding and unmodding it and keeping it stock. Uh, a couple other things. But uh, yeah, this is it six weeks purchased this from a from a dealer could not find one from a private sale and uh let's talk about it a little bit more while we get on the bike and ride huh uh we're gonna uh probably be in some traffic but no we're gonna take a chill ride on my slow bike yeah so this triumph is actually replacing the other triumph which was a street triple. And if you watched any of my videos, you'll know I gave that kind of a farewell. Sold it in a private sale. I miss her. I think what I miss about it was, uh, it just had lots of ways to customize it. Uh, you know, a lot of bolt-ons available. Um, but the engine, I was done with the engine. I really like that triple on track, but out in the street for just chilling around, it was a little too high strung for me. Which, let's talk about this engine. This is a twin parallel, 900 cc's, 270 crank, so it sounds like a V-twin. It's fairly responsive. It's got a, about a 55, 5800 RPM, uh, Peak power, red lines like a little over 6,000. There's no reason to ever get up there. The torque is all down low. Uh, torque starts delivering right away. It's not a drag racer though. In no way, shape, form would I call this thing quick or even fast. It is a slow bike. It's beginner friendly. Uh, it, real easy to flat foot. Now yeah, we're gonna go straight. A lot of stop signs here. Really easy to flat foot. 
Uh, you know, this is the Street Twin has an upright bar compared to these uh, Clubman bars, which aren't quite as low as clip-ons. Or if you had risers on your clip-ons, it would be. But the way that this uh, master cylinder works and the throttle, uh, it just, doing a clip-on wasn't going to fit. So the they come with Clubmans, but these aren't actually the stock Clubman bars. The stock Clubman bars have an extra clamp here and here to slide these in to fine tune your hand position. But they're very bulky and I wanted a cleaner look. And these came from uh, Lhasa Engineering, Losa Engineering, and they're really clean. And I like the kind of a matte finish on them where the other ones were glossy. And it fit perfect with this uh, machined riser that I got from, I think it was like Cleveland Triumph. I, <laughs> I could not find it anywhere else. Never even seen it on the Triumph website. It's not at British Customs. It's not at a couple other places where you buy bolt-ons for this bike or other Triumph bikes. I don't know how to get out of here. I've never seen a blue stop sign before in my life. Look at that, a blue stop sign. That can't be legal. This is all new. So when I brought this bike home, I rode it for a few days and it was doing great. I loved it. And I'll tell you why I bought it after I tell you about this little issue that I had right after I bought it. So when I bought it, I checked for recalls, checked the VIN number. Uh, obviously it wasn't stolen because I got it from a dealer. VIN number checked out. Looked like it had a couple recall items taken care of right when it was purchased. Uh, it was purchased up in Central Texas. Uh, probably bought it at an auction or a trade. Made its way to Austin. Never seen it before. And I bring it home and I've started up and I'm looking in uh, to, you know, just a couple mods here and there. And I noticed that the lights in the dash start cutting out when I'm turning it a certain amount, like when I'm doing this. I was like, what is going on? That's funky. Don't tell me I just bought a bike with, you know, shitty electrics. So I investigate a little bit and you can see it's frayed a little bit right there. Uh, the wiring harness was rubbing on this bracket to the point of where it was exposed wire. Uh, couldn't believe that. And come to find out that this little doohickey here was what they actually added I don't know if it was to prevent that or not, but that was part of a recall, was a redesign of the harness. And that actually wasn't helping. And then I went to the Triumph dealer, and by, by the way, that's another story for another vlog. They treated me like shit and acted like they didn't have, you know, they'd never seen it before, which is believable. And I went online and a couple people all, you know, mentioned the recall and said, no biggie, but it's all Street Twin. And this is a Street Cup. And I was like, let me dig into this a little deeper. Come to find out, these brackets for the headlight, the stock ones that are sort of like a, uh, it's not pot metal, but it's like, you know, sheet metal uh, formed into a funky shape. And come to find out, these two are exclusive to the Street Cup. No other Triumph model uses the same ones. And I went to the dealership. I went up and down all of the Bonnevilles, Thruxtons, Twins, Street Twins, Speed Twins to look at the brackets, see if any one of them were going to fit. I figured I'd just order something that was designed better. And come to find out, Triumph Engineering is all sorts of wonky. I just couldn't believe how effing different every single bracket and light bracket and sleeve that covered the fork tube and how the triple tree uh, functioned. It, they're all different. They're all different. <laughs> Drive's engineering team is not into efficiency uh, and sharing that many parts. 